Hi, welcome to Barney Tech Channel. Hi, here we are going to see about the Profinet configuration on SEMA code relay. We are going to see the topic wise. First, the Profinet receiver and sender signal. Second, signal list. Third, schematic diagram. Finally, the Profinet configuration through software. These are the things we are going to see in this section. We will see one by one. First, we will see how this configuration for Profinet will receive and send the signal to DCS. All output such as close command, reset command like this need to configure on receive bit. Next, all status like contact on off, production operate, indication like this need to configure on send signal. Second, we need to know about all signal which need to be configured for DCS. Example, I have shown the signal list for DCS. For relay to DCS, the signals are the bit 0, 0.0. There is no configuration. For 0 0.1 is off feedback. 0 0.2 it's on feedback. 0 0.3 is overload warning. And for 0 0.4 is none and 0 0.5 is remote mode. This need to be configured on corresponding send bit. Then only on Profinet will be able to receive the signal from the relay. Same way for DCS to relay command need to configure correspondingly receive bit. Example like 0, 0, none, 0, 1, stop, 0, 2, start forward like this. So by having this signal list, we are going to see how to do configuration on relay through software. Before going to do this configuration, we will see the schematic diagram one time. Because we must know this hardware signal on the schematic so that we will not make any mistake while doing the configuration. Now we will see how to do Profinet configuration. Now open the relay software and go to the parameter then click on Profinet parameter. Need to check the Profinet IP address first. Next we go for station device. On station we have to see the device name. This consider as a Profinet name and need to ensure this override is enabled. If not then the device name and Profinet name both will become different. Now we will see how to set this device name. For this go to device configuration and click on the base unit and double click on the device overview. Now we are able to change the name. Once you change the name, just click outside, then the name will be changed. I am going to ensure the name is changed or not in the Profinet name. Yes, it was changed. Next, we see the signal which is going to the DCS. This we have to do on the output for signal configuration. According to this signal, we have to select the configuration with the right term on this selection object. For the bit 0, 0, we have none. So no need to configure on this. For 0, 1, it's for off feedback signal. We have to go to protection control status and we can see the status of sig. So we have to select this. And next is 0, 2. For this is for on feedback signal. It is in, will be in the same position. We have to go for production and control status we have to select the status on next is 0 0.3 this is for overload warning i am going to search this signal on the signal list and i got this it was in extend production after searching i got this Signal is from extended production. It was pre-warning overload 02 greater than 115 signal. 
and next to 0 0.4 is nothing and next to 0 0.5 is a remote mode signal it was in the status mode and we have to select the remote mode over here and 0 comma 6 is nothing 0 comma 7 is also nothing and next 1 comma 0 is also nothing next 1 next 1 comma 1 is a test position signal for this signal i have to select the corresponding correct signal then only it has to then only it will match so i am going to search for the test position yes i was found this this signal was in standard function tpf it is a status test position feedback we can choose this for this particular signal next it is one comma two for q1 status is a hardware signal so i have to select binary input bu input 4 For signal like this, we have to confirm with the schematic diagram also. For next 1,3, it's an interlock status signal. It's also hardware. It's a BU input 3. Next 1,4, it's a stop signal. It's also hardware. We have to select DM input 2. and uh, next is one comma five it's a forward start signal or nothing but a start signal it also from the binary input bm1 binary input three and next is input six and this no need to configure as per this i was configured is a dm input four but as per schematic it was no need to configure and next one input 1 comma 7 it's a control mcb on signal it's a bu input 2 now all input signal is has been configured now i am going for analog value configuration this 2 comma 3 is for measuring current in percentage so this we need to check on measurement blocks i go to measurement then i can able to found this maximum current percentage is we can choose for this corresponding signal next for 4 comma 5 it is signal for current in magnitude that is the actual value so for this i am going to select on measurement on maximum current in amp so this will be having suitable for this signal now i am going to configure the command from dcs signal all signal which we have in this for motor control so i go to motor control then click on control station first i will do the configuration for local and remote selection before going into this selection we must understand how it is working let me see deeply this s1 and s2 determine the local and remote selection i will explain according to this configuration for s1 is for test and service selection and for S2 is local and remote selection. If the mode is in test and local, then the local one will get activated. If the mode is in test and remote, then the local two will get activated. If the mode is in service and local, then the local three will get activated. If the mode is in service and remote, then the remote is getting activated. For this service, we can take reference for binary input 1 as per the schematic diagram. Let me see the output configuration on software now. First I am going to configure for 0 0.5 bit. It's a remote mode selection. So I go to input and select the cyclic receiving bit 0 0.5.
now for remote control on off i am going to configure on dcs for off is the motor stop signal which is cyclic receive bit 0 0.1 For start or motor on, the signal is cyclic receive bit 0 0.2. Finally, we have one signal which is reset from DCS. For this signal, we have to go to standard function on it. We have the test and reset topic. On this topic, we have to select the reset one. Over here, we have to select the receiving bit 0 0.6. Now, we have complete the Profinet configuration. So next, we have to save and send to the relay. Then we can able to check the signal from relay to DCS. I hope this section is useful to you all. We came to the end of this section. See you on next video. If you like this section, then please share to your friends and colleagues. Take care and bye from Barney Tech channel. Thank you for watching this video.